Welcome to Common Sense Academy. We got a good one today. We got a British free man, sovereign citizen who can't pay his utility bills. Thus, the police and the utility company had to get a warrant to go into his house and put a smart meter on his property. I guess the, the smart meter does is it pays uh, you have to pay as you go on your utilities instead of getting the bill later because if you, some people will get utility service for a whole month and then they can't pay their bill. So this guy is going to throw out a bunch of sovereign citizen auditor jargon. We're going to watch. We're going to have some fun. And I'm going to break down some of the claims he makes, such as uh, the invalidity of the warrant that is issued in this case, his use of Black Law's, Black's Law Dictionary, and... Uh, you know, when he claims that they're burglarizing and trespassing. So I'm going to break all that down on a legal basis. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is Common Sense Academy. If you like my shows, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'm mostly asking for subscriptions right now. The majority of my viewers are not subscribed. Click the subscribe button. It's on the, it's in the video itself. There's also one, uh, you know, that YouTube always has. I'm trying to get to 10,000. If I get to 10,000. Uh, YouTube actually give me some features. I can make my videos even better. Also, sign up for my email list. You get a free PDF, History and Examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement, written by yours truly. It's a couple pages. It's fun. Sign up for the email list. You can always unsubscribe from it later, but I'm just going to send you free stuff. Now, before we watch the video, raise your cup in the air, your chalice, uh, whatever it is that you prefer to drink, whatever your preferred beverage is. Those of you who watch a lot know I like Diet Coke, but I, most of all, I enjoy coffee. I believe coffee is the nectar of the gods. Here in my Joe Palmetto Law Cup, raise your cup, raise your drink in the air because it tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Oh, one more thing. Check out Van the Man and Van Bayon. I use his videos. Van the Man, Van Bayon. Subscribe to his channel. Tons of sovereign content. Now let's watch. Hi right, guys. So I've had bailiffs come around wanting to uh, put a meter in my house, right? And I've told them it's not me. I've told them to get off my doorstep. So I've called the police, told them I've got people that won't leave my doorstep, right? Because the bloke was standing at my window, shouting in through the windows, telling me to get off my land, it's private property, he's now trespassing. Police are supposed to be sent to uh, keep the peace, right? But now I've just got back, because I left, locked all my house up, police are there, right? And it looks like they're going in, so it looks like the police have given them permission to break into my house. So I'm just about to go back there, just down the road here. They're across the road over there, right? They're going in and out, in and out. So we'll see what the police have to say, won't we? I'll just put you down here for a sec. I don't want to see a police on the phone. Fucking land. Fuck's sake. Uh, nice. It's honest citizen. You're on film, right? I've told these to get off my land. They're still on my land. You're supposed yeah, to be here because they trespassed. No, 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 no. Where's their, where's their sign to imprint it? Is it in red ink? He doesn't want to know. Is it in red ink? He doesn't want to know. Red ink. Wet ink. Oh, yeah. A one's got to be in red ink. It, no, it it's, no, I'll get lost with you legalese. You're not here for me, mate. Go away. Get them off my land or you'll be... What's your name and numbers, please? There's a warrant there. They're showing it to Name you. and numbers, please. 
Peter James 6384. Name and number? Right, if any of you two let these go near my property against the law, under legal, yeah, you will too be prosecuted. I promise you that. Okay. Okay, you two personally, because you're allowing them to. Okay. You've got to learn law versus legal. These two are not allowed. Get them off my property now. They're on my property. All of you, off my property. Right. Therefore, no. Right, I've asked all of these to get off of my property. They're not getting off my property. This is now... They're now trespassing on private property. Yeah. What's happened? Do you even know what they're going to do? It's not. Then I've got no contract with these. Right? You're, what you're doing is you're allowing corporations to put us into contracts under fake, fake, non-court things that are being just, what's it called, signed? You've got to learn the difference between law and legal, I'm afraid. And I'm going to take you to court, the police and this company. What's, oi, why are you going on my property? Right, oh, so you're stopping me from going... Why? Right, they're now stopping me from going on my property and allowing people to trespass on my property. Well, you're going down, you two are not doing your job. You're supposed to protect the public, not protect corporations. <sighs> right, this is the van. EA15WRU, Lowry Beck, smart meter in, trying to put smart meters in people's houses against their thing. This is the locksmiths, ACL locksmiths, there's their telephone number. Yeah, there's a police car. This is the, uh, the corporation, the corporate henchmen, the police. People who work for the corporations. See these smart meters, all these little meters they got in there. They're now on my property, going around the back, breaking into my house. Burglary. So I want them all done for burglary. Burglars, look, they've broken into my property. They're in my property against man's property, yeah? The man, man's house is his castle, darling. Yeah, about time you learn that. You're going, you're going down, both of you two. And all of you that are involved, you're all going down. we got your number, mate. You're going on Facebook and YouTube later. So I'm sure your business will do great. Going around helping corporations, mate. Corporation theft, that's all you people do. Look, the police, here to help the corporations in my fucking house. Get out of my house, all of you. Out of my house. Wow. <sighs> And this is a sign on my window. Yeah, notice of removal of implied right of access, which the man already said he's read. But these police, stupid, stupid fucking officers, working for the corporation, yeah, they're not, they're not constables, they're officers, because they're officers of the corporation. And what they're here to do is assist the corporation steal from the poor. That's all they ever do, isn't it? Go around taking money, 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 money under legalese. Legal is not lawful. Learn the difference, stupid. Get off my property, people. I'd hurry up, guys. You, the longer you're on here, the more it's going to harm you, I'm afraid. Well done, police. Doing your job as usual, yeah? Helping the corporation. You say, yeah, they can come in my house, did you? Court, court. Wait, where's 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 the court? Well, no, that's not a warrant with a wet signature. No, it's not a warrant. It needs a wet signature. Learn the law. You're too stupid. That's why you get this job because you didn't get any qualifications. Because you're dumb. Why do you think they employ stupid people as the police? Because they'll just follow fucking orders. They'll just go around stealing from the poor to give to the rich. Why do you think this country's in such a shell? 
because of you two. Hope you're fucking pleased with yourself. You're both going to court. Both of you. you, you, you you're exempt now. The police ain't going to be able to save you. I'm going to take your house, your pensions a lot. You just allowed someone to break into my house. You've assisted in burglary, I'm afraid. Anything, if I come in there, money's missing. So anything I log that's missing out of that fucking house, it's all your fault, yeah? This is the PC's car. Let's have a look in there. See if they've got anything that they shouldn't have. Anything illegal in there? Anything we should know about? Yeah, the police car. That's their number there. OU68 ESN. Yeah, this is Lowry Beck. The smart meter, Lowry Beck. Let's have a look in there. Yeah, there's their thing. There's their Lowry Beck. Smart metering. Yeah, smart meters. They're really good for you. That's why they're free. 045 0845 These police will go to court. We will see both of these police in court. We'll see this man in court because he's also part and parcel of breaking burglary in my house with no wet signature from any judge. Yeah, what is it? Magistrates? Well, magistrates, another corporation with shareholders for profit. A magistrate's got no authority over man, you dummies. I'm man, I've already told you that. Already told you that. I'm under no commerce. I'm not in commerce. Not engaged in commerce, never have been. Yeah, you want to bring your commerce legal bullshit, go and take it to idiots, not to smart people. You'll see me on YouTube. I've got a fucking channel. I do this as a living. Well done. Fucking idiots, all of them. Dummies, got your number, you got your van, mate. It's all on here. We'll go and get it again. Make sure you ain't got nothing. We'll make sure nothing suspicious or you haven't got anything in your car you shouldn't have while we're there. Let's go see what the van man, man, man who likes doing this is a fucking locksmith, Scott, right? Go breaking into my fucking house. Anything he shouldn't have in there, boys and girls, maybe drugs, maybe weapons. ACL, locksmiths and safe engineers. Give them a call, people. And fucking mess with the wrong person a day. Should have walked away while they had the fucking chance. They don't like to listen, do they? They believe they've got the law on their side because a couple of fucking old biddies come along with a fucking costume on and a little badge and they think they've got all of a sudden authority to break into people's houses. Don't you? That's what you think. Gives you the right, doesn't it? Well, Sleep well at night. Oh, this is not a warrant, darling. You okay. don't even know what a warrant is. You don't even know the law. Okay. What's, what's the difference between law versus legal? Okay. Well, I've got, I've got you don't know, do you? Do you know the difference between law and legal? Okay, come on and tell me, what's the difference? You don't know, that's why. If you, if you knew, you'd answer, wouldn't you? What's the difference between law and legal? What's legal that's not lawful? What's leaf, law, lawful that's not legal? Tell me. Smart ass. Come on. Because right now you're breaking the law, you know that, yeah? Your legal don't work on me, because like I say, I'm not a person. I'm a man. Learn the difference. Try and calm You break into someone, someone break into your fucking house, and you try and calm down, darling, yeah? Especially when they're being assisted by someone. If I do, I fucking throw you out. You arrest me, right? Apparently, I'm not allowed to throw out burglars as long as they got a fucking costume on and a stupid badge. I suppose you got a blue line badge, any of you? Have you had the gang badge? Part of the blue line, are you? Thin blue line. Yeah, another gang. You're cold. Do you know that? You work for corporations. You work for the banksters. Yeah, what, 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 what wouldn't you, what wouldn't, what would he have to take them to say to do to you as an order before you say no? Tell me, anything? Or would you just follow all their orders like fucking Hitler's lot? Yeah, you don't think this is, you don't, you don't even understand what a Nazi is, nationalist Zionist, yeah? You don't even understand what that means, do you? Don't even understand how this whole country's turning into Nazi, nationalist Zionist. Don't even understand that, do you? Just go around robbing off the Brits. The people who you're supposed to protect. 
for corporations. And if that's a smart media, that's coming fucking straight off my wall because they're fucking deadly as well. Why do you think government give them away free? I suppose you take all the fucking vaccines they give you as well, do you? Think that's good for you? Good luck. You won't live long. Okay, guys, part two. Got more battery. I'm allowed in my own house, am I? Thanks. Look at this, look. Look at these two bully boys here, these two. They yeah, go around putting the meters in people's house. Don't want their smart meters causing them shit. Yeah, government give you something free, yeah? Run away from it. Simple as that, innit? Run away from it. And we got the two henchmen here, the two, two corporate henchmen who allow them to break into my property, give them permission. Yeah, did you say, yeah, it was all right for them to break into my property, yeah? No, the courts did. No, the courts didn't. That's where you're wrong. Get it right. Get it right. Magistrates don't overrule law, I'm afraid. Legal doesn't overrule law. Law overrules legal. It's about time you police started learning that. But of course, six months training. Uh, do you know a hairdresser gets two years training? A copper gets six months. <laughs> it's no wonder they're so stupid. Don't even know the fucking law. You know what I mean? You'd think you'd learn the law, though. If you're going to become a policeman, like, I know the law, yeah? Inside out. I know the law. That's why... Because I've learned it. Where did you go then? Where did you go? I learned it myself. I got a Black's Law Dictionary. Oh, that's and if you go to the Black's Law Dictionary, you learn the real law. Well, law versus legal. It tells you how they screw us with legalese, with fake, fake corporate thing. You have a look at that. Go and show me a wedding thing from a judge on that. Yeah, see if you can even read the name on it. That's not a judge's signature. You need a judge's signature to enter a house. And you've just broken into my, you two have just been broken into my house. So you now are burglaring, you're now trespassing, you understand that? So you're not just going to lose your job for it, you're going to lose your, your everything because you've allowed them. And you're stopping me from doing what I want to do. You've now broken my day. Yes. What are you working for? I'm, I'm doing whatever I want to do, but you've broken my day. You've kept me outside for how long? Yeah, you've broken into my house. Yeah, I haven't let you in. That wasn't open, was it? No, they've broken in, haven't they? You've let someone come in, do a door lock. If I've done that, if I'm a corporation, yeah, say my company's name's Mark, right? My company name Mark, right? And I go, oh, I've, I've got a bit of paper here with, with just a, a print of a signature that everyone's got that's printed a million times. Apparently, yeah, that's not a wet print. It doesn't matter. We, I know the law. It's got to have a wet print signature. You can't just have a, you can't have a copy for a start. It can't be a copy, yeah? It's got to be a, a legal sign by the judge with his hand. But you don't understand that. You should start learning. Start learning online like everyone else does. Yeah, and then you don't get yourself losing your job, losing your, your, your house, because all of a sudden someone, you now owe the person you've just broken into their house a lot of money, right? All of you are criminals right now, and you don't even, you're still standing here. That's a stupid thing. You've been told, but of course... As usual, the police are smarter than the people who actually know the law. Then they're going to go, oh, shit, we've broken the law. Here, right, quick, get them all out. Hopefully we can say sorry to this guy and he'll leave us alone. No. Okay, well, that was a long one, but that was a fun one. I have to say, look, as an American, when I see these videos from Australia or from Britain, okay, they're just a little bit funnier with a British accent. And listen, all my British, Australian non-american fans you can laugh at our accent too okay you guys got the original english all right we inherited it obviously um but it just it just kind of cracked me up watching watching this guy go through this um you know with the english accent so uh it appeared that what's happening is i did a little bit of research on this because i've never seen it happen he was unable to pay his utilities so i guess the police team up with the corporations and the corporations will get a warrant to allow them to go into a house and change a meter. Here's a fun fact that many people may not know, but not everything in your house or even under your house, even if you own the land, belongs to you. Most homeowners, you're probably aware of this. I own my house, okay, and one day I go outside and they were t and 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 they did send some sort of notice, okay, but they were tearing up uh, my walkway so the water company could get to a pipe underneath. The government is allowed to do that. It's a small form of eminent domain. 
um, where they can go through. Now, they can't do more damage than is necessary. They can't damage anything that's valuable, and they do have to replace it. Fact of the matter is, I got a newly paved portion of my walkway that leads to the street, so they didn't do the whole thing, obviously. It would be nice if they did the whole thing, but one section is newer. So, there are parts of your house, such as your utility meters, the pipes that run underneath it, uh, electrical wiring that may run into your house that does not in fact belong to you. Now, I agree it would be wrong for people, for these companies to just come into your house uh, without any notice. It appears though that a warrant's required, and this video obviously takes place in the UK. It sounded to me like they had a warrant so they were able to go in even if the individual was not there. I think it's a little silly. If I was a judge signing a warrant, I would require them to, to notice this person. They may have noticed him. I bet you that they try to come in without a warrant before they actually do. And then if you keep denying them access, then they go to the judge. They say, look, your honor, we contacted this gentleman. We sent mail three times, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Then the judge has no choice but to sign the warrant. Let's sip a little coffee real quick. Hmm. Okay, so a few observations again. I like the English accent. I noticed the, the, the police had like a taser and then a sign that said taser. I don't know why that's there, but that might be a good thing to have because you're saying to people, look, don't mess with me. I'm going to tase you, all right? This guy didn't get tased, but I'm kind of surprised he didn't get tased. Um, he told them they're trespassing. If they have a warrant, it's not a trespass. Listen, you can challenge a warrant, okay, but you're not going to challenge the warrant during the search, okay? You're going to challenge the warrant afterwards. You can go into court, challenge uh, all the facts upon which the warrant was based, whether it met the certain requirements, such as a signature and a seal for it to be good. This dude goes into this whole wet seal thing, and, you know, he didn't mention the word sovereign citizen or free man, but he let on. Um, a wet signature, wet signature. That's BS. Judges aren't going to sign every single copy of a warrant. There does need to be an original. You know where the original is? Down at the courthouse. A reasonable facsimile whenever they're serving the warrant at your house uh, will do. The original will be at the courthouse. After the search, you can go and check, see if there's an original or not. If there's no original, maybe you got a case. He told them he has no contract, more soft sit uh, language. Here's the truth of the matter, though. He's using their utilities. He's using their services. I don't know if they're messing with them for electric or, or water or gas here, all right? But there's a there actually is a little bit of a contract there. If you're using uh, the services of a utility company, um, there's an unspoken contract, even if there's not a written one. There's a verbal contract, and there can be a course of action type contract that exists, even if there's no specifically written one. So, so even that your sovereign nonsense is wrong. Uh, protect the public, not corporations. Last time I checked, corporations were, there were people that were part of corporations and those people get that money. Look, I'm not gonna, I just wanna blow the solve up here, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna get into corporations, but uh, I mean, that that's true, right? I mean, there's people that make up corporations, okay? Um, I didn't know about this whole smart metering thing. I looked it up. I guess people that can't pay their utilities get the, can get these smart meters put on and then it's pay as you go so that, uh, you know, they're not being billed after the fact like the majority of people who actually pay their utilities on time. Why such an objection to it, dude? They might, what if you just lost, they took your utilities away, period. You don't want any utilities? Okay, well, all right, we'll just do, we'll take all our crap out of your house. Go build a mini house out on your own homestead, okay? Don't you don't need the you don't need electricity, you don't need water, you need gas, get your own crap. Um he said they're committing burglary, no, but if they did steal something, he could sue them over that. If they're in that house with a warrant and they're stealing something, you can sue them. If they unreasonably destroy your property, you can sue them for that as well. Warrant needs a wet signature, not true, not true. There does need to be an original, but this wet signature, that's all crap. 
Uh, money missing, he's right. I mean, if they, there was some money missing or something gone or destroyed unnecessarily, he could sue them. He's not in commerce. He said he's not in commerce, but he also said he had a YouTube channel. That's how we know he's a sovereign uh, auditor type. You know, he did the whole name and badge number thing too. Um, dude, if you got a YouTube channel, I think you're in commerce. I'm just going to throw that out there. The difference between law and legal. Let me say, there might be a small, there actually there probably is some sort of difference in a legal sense when those words are used, but it's completely inapplicable to this guy's situation. Sorry, dude. Uh, he said he's not a person, he's a man. Guess what? You can be a person and a man. And just because you don't want to be a person doesn't mean you're not a person, buddy. Um, he said the UK was turning into, uh, I don't want to say that, National Socialist on here. Uh, I don't know, dude. Go, go, check your, go check yourself out. Go look in your own mirror, you goof. Um, the Black's Law, Black's Law Dictionary is the real, he said Black's Law Dictionary is the real law. Black's Law Dictionary is the farthest thing from the real law. Black's Law Dictionary is just a guide to understanding the language used in law. It actually changes all the time. Those definitions evolve just like any dictionary, you knucklehead. Um, and the, oh, the, the final piece is he kept saying, you broke my day. You broke my day. And my friends, uh, and family out in the UK or in Australia, other British countries, Commonwealth countries, Canada, or is that a British saying broke my day? I've never heard someone say that before. You know, we say in America, you ruined my day or you've destroyed my ruined. I think is the, the, the preferred word. I've never heard broke my day. I, I found that a little bit entertaining. So listen, I hope you all enjoyed this video of the British free man getting a smart sensor put on cause he couldn't pay his utilities. He objected on the basis that he's a man, not a person. It didn't work. They still went in there and now he's got to pay as he goes. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe the Lawyer. Please leave me a like, a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subs. So subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, share this and get me some more subscribers. Also sign up for my email list, free PDF history, uh, an examination of the sovereign citizen root movement written by yours truly. It comes in a second email. Just keep that in mind. You'll sign up. You'll get a congratulatory email. You have to go into that one, okay, and click a link. It's a verification thing, and then you get the PDF. Just keep that in mind. Thank you for watching.